who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. All right, so today we're gonna start a three-part series on how to paint your PC case. So the case we're gonna take a look at today is the NZXT 210. Uh, this is the matte white and black case. This case is not the first one that I've made mods to. You'll see that it's a little different than standard black and white and that is because I have already painted this case once I did a Game Boy themed PC and I had to take it apart to make sure that I got the colors that I wanted but you can see that I use the kind of off white paint you can see the difference in these two that mimics the original Game Boy show. Uh, I did an accent with painting the power button. And then the USB 3.0 port on the NZXT came purple already. So that kind of worked in my favor. Uh, I also tinted the front glass panel to kind of mimic the screen on the Game Boy. And the interior of this case is originally black, but you can see that I painted it white as well. And I also painted this front intake shroud, the pinkish kind of color that you see on the Game Boy. But something you notice on these parts here, they start to chip after a while. And that is due to an inefficient paint job. Um, we also have the back cover. You can see on the edges, it's starting to chip too. And painted everything. The interior side, the drive cage, everything. I painted it. And when I finished, when I started it, it looked pretty good. I wasn't upset about it, but over time, the paint is starting to kind of wear. So I'm gonna show you how to go about preparing your case for paint. And the biggest thing you wanna do is tear it down absolutely. And I'm talking about every single piece that can be disassembled. That is what you wanna do. All right. With the NZXT case, I wanna take off this front panel. There we go. Front panel is off. I want to take out this cage here. All right, set that off to the side. Oh, this actually can be painted too if you want. Let's make sure that we get the right screwdriver. This is not the right head for that. And where are our bits? There we go. This will work. We got our front I.O. taken out. Now let's go and take out the NZXT bar. All right, and you just do a double check to make sure that you've gotten 
everything off that has a screw. Now with the feet, I've taken the feet off before. I believe the screws are located underneath these rubber pads. Uh, you can pry them off. I would suggest using a heat gun, but for the purpose of this quick kind of tear down, I'm gonna just peel them back. If you can, reduce the urge of peeling the entire thing off. That'll keep it a bit more intact when you go to put them back on. All right, so you'll see here these silver rivets. These are the primary things that hold the case together when you don't have screws anymore. Now the factory will probably have the rivets to match whatever the final cover, the, whatever the final paint job for the case is, but the rivets as they come out of the box are gonna be silver. So once you put your case back together, it's likely that you'll have to do some touch up paint jobs for painting the rivets if you want to. Sometimes the silver rivets can match whatever color scheme you have going on. So we'll address that. But first we need to have a drill and we need to have a drill bit that is going to fit the size of the rivets. Now, I cannot remember exactly which size it is. Um, however, I'm gonna take a guess and say that it is an eighth of an inch. No, we're not gonna go with the eighth inch. I'm gonna choose the 764th size drill bit. So what you wanna do Make sure that your drill is prepared. You got your drill bit in. And to remove a rivet, I take the drill and I set on the top. Oh, got it in hammer. Put it in drill mode. Set it on top of the rivet and we just start drilling. What I generally do, I try to turn the drill around the center of the rivet so that it can go through, but you can just hold it and go straight through. There we go. So now you have the rivet, it's popped through and you'll generally have a piece that falls off. You wanna collect those. And that's the only thing keeping your computer together. There's a series of these little connections here. So you just repeat that process with the rest of the rivets on your case and they should pop off. Now in this particular one, it did not pop off initially, but if you just pry it up, it'll be gone. And right now I'm gonna try the eighth inch drill bit to see if that'll make the process a bit faster, but I can check to see if it'll fit in the hole initially. And it looks like it'll fit. But the 764 seems to fit perfectly. So yeah, we're not gonna use the eighth inch drill bit. We're just gonna keep going with the 764 and let's see how it goes.
after that you go and remove any extra shells that may be clinging on to the frame. Right there. And it would be even easier if you had like a pair of pliers or something to grip them with. You can kind of just peel it out if you can. This one is being pretty stubborn. There we go. And you just pull it out. And again, we're going to be painting it, so I don't really care about, you know, the chipping of any paint on the frame. Right now, it's just trying to get everything disassembled and completely apart. There we go. So, got that part. Now, let's go and disassemble the main part of the chassis. And also, you'll get a bunch of rivets collecting at the top. Uh, eventually, you're gonna have to pull them out. Uh, use a pair of channel locks, hold on to them, put the drill in reverse, and just kind of pull. There we go. Now you can clear this up for the next set of rivets. we have it so you notice that this is all one single piece that's been bent so there's really no need to disassemble this part um, you can if you want to but since it's all one piece I'm gonna just leave these two rivets in and we'll start the painting process from there and also if you would like to you can take these off I believe I did. Oh, I guess I did take them off last time. Uh, you can also just tape over these with painter's tape. Uh, it's not completely necessary that you remove them to paint it, but it is an option if you want to be extremely thorough. When you're doing a lot of the disassembly, you're gonna get a lot of metal shavings and small metal pieces when you're taking the rivets out. I would strongly suggest you wear eye protection. Uh, you run the risk of having metal shards fly into your eye and could potentially blind you. So definitely wear eye protection. <laughs> Cause you'd hate to have to lose one and do the rest of this case with one. So let's put this in the trash and lay out the pieces that we have for the day. This is an H210, broken down, and this is part one. So part two, we're gonna cover sanding and paint prep for all of these pieces, making sure that the surfaces are smooth and you remove every plastic piece or pieces that aren't a solid part of the metal. 
and that's it so hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw and stay tuned for part two other than that i will uh see you in the next one peace Thank you.